satellite into orbit. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson says today's launch will help farmers and scientists, quote, understand and manage land resources, and all of that is needed to sustain human life. By the way, those Atlas V rockets are built right here in Decatur. Weather coverage you can count on with meteorologist Rob Elvington and the Way 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network. And I just zoomed in on the ULA facility indicator. That's it right there. You can see the camera's still moving. So sending that Atlas V up to space with that new Landsat satellite. So pretty neat that we can see that big facility from downtown Decatur. Again, sending that Atlas V up earlier today from Vandenberg Air Force Base. We are keeping a close eye on conditions heading through the overnight hours. You notice visibility is at 10 miles at all the observation sites, but we will be tracking that fog setting up in the usual spots. And if you go back all the way to last Thursday and Friday, all the way through this weekend, we have seen quite a bit of dense fog almost every single morning. Forecast temperatures through the overnight hours all the way through tomorrow morning, right around sunrise. Many spots down into the upper 50s and even seen places like Fort Payne down to 59 at the latest update. So not much further to fall here heading through the overnight hours. On the way 31 storm tracker early warning radar network. Other than the fog, we're tracking mostly clear skies. Just a few high thin clouds drifting in from out of the northwest. All that muggy humid air still off to the south and southwest, but that will be moving in over the next couple of days. Not nearly as bad as what we had in place last week before that big cold front came through, but still a little bit more humidity to finish off this work week. There's a look at our forecast for tomorrow. By lunchtime, we're already up to around 80 and then topping out in the mid 80s. These temperatures eh, about a degree or two above normal for this time of the year, but where we should be for late September. So there's a look at the humidity tracker. This is tonight. We'll let this run all the way into your Tuesday. When you start to see the greens again, that's a little bit more of that moisture, a little bit more of that humidity, and that continues to really build in by Wednesday but where you'll notice most of the greens, the dark greens on the map, it's mostly to the west and southwest, closer to the Mississippi state line. So that's where the best rain chances will be Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, because there is a chance for a stray showers early as tomorrow afternoon. Future radar, this is right around 730 tomorrow morning, a little bit of cloud cover for areas west of I-65. But again, those clear skies allowing for that fog to set up in Sand Mountain. By tomorrow afternoon, mostly dry conditions. Some of the data occasionally showing a stray shower sprinkle, but that's pretty much it for your Tuesday. Then watch Wednesday. We start off dry and then with a little bit of heating, that's going to allow for some pop ups. You'll notice a pop up right around Colbert County, right by the Lauderdale County line, just to the west of Muscle Shoals. And we occasionally continue to see a few more pop ups west of I-65 all the way to your Wednesday evening. But that's it. And that's why we have that rain chance at about 10% for your Wednesday. And same goes for your Thursday. This is the rainfall forecast all the way through the next seven days. So this goes through Monday of next week and this light green that you see on the map. That is a trace. Some of the darker greens on the map that's close to about a 10th of an inch of rain, but that's it all the way through the next seven days. Hurricane Sam still a major hurricane expect to be a category four here in the overnight hours into Tuesday morning, but some great news. Look at the track from the National Hurricane Center. It continues to recurve out to sea. That's Bermuda right there, so they'll likely get some outer rain bands and some waves, but even staying well off to the east of Bermuda, but we're still in tropical season. We're still getting these pretty strong waves coming off of Africa. The National Hurricane Center gives these two tropical waves a 90% chance of developing over the next five days, but even these likely move out to sea and recurve off to the north. So look at future radar and satellite. That's Sam right there. You can see Bermuda right there as that continues to race off to the northeast. And if we look a little bit further off to the southeast, that's one of those tropical waves again recurving out to sea. So at this point, it looks like we're doing OK in the main development region of the Atlantic, but still need to watch everything closely all the way into November. Seven day forecast highs in the mid 80s all the way through the end of the work week. Looks like Friday should be the warmest day of this work week 84 on Saturday and then cooler by Monday.